Gunman St. Pete is accused of turning his car into a deadly weapon. Early this month, he rammed another customer in the Culver's drive through with his family. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy spoke with the victims about the scary incident that could have cost lives. My life flashed before my eyes. Like, I am thankful that I'm here. Maximilian Pellets never thought an ice cream run with his pregnant girlfriend would lead to this. This guy was going to kill me. He says it all started when they got to the Culver's drive through on 34th Street North in St. Pete. Another car arrived around the same time. Police identified the driver as Sean Drake. We both raced to the drive through and I got there first, you know? I mean, I, I hey, nobody likes to wait in the drive through line. And he starts flipping me off, opens his window, calls me a dumb redneck. So I gave him it back, you know? He gives me the finger, I give him the finger back. Probably should have had some self-control, but whatever. And then she, she's like, all right, quit it. Pellet says by the time they got to the front of the line, he stopped engaging with Drake. But it still wasn't over. According to Drake's arrest affidavit, he intentionally rear-ended Pellet's car multiple times with his girlfriend and their dog inside and intentionally accelerated hitting Pellet's after he got out of his car to talk to Drake. And I took a ride on his hood for like 20, 30 feet. Police got surveillance video from Culver's and are reviewing it as part of the investigation. It shows the moment Pellets hits the hood of the car. The arrest report says Pellets fell off just before Drake drove onto the main road. Police arrested Drake at his home. He's charged with two counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, resisting an officer without violence and a DUI. Hey, if somebody wants that spot more than you, just at this point, let them have it because it might avoid you from getting hit by a vehicle or your kids or a grandma or somebody pregnant. Good advice, says St. Pete Police. So if you run into anyone who's driving erratic and you are in, come in contact with them, we encourage you just to avoid it as long as you can, as much as you can. It is best to leave it to us. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News. Well, Pellet says they are lucky that their injuries were minor, bruises and a concussion, but it has set them back when it comes to working as door dashers delivering food. Drake has bonded out of jail. His attorney said he isn't going to comment on the case right now.